Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to another side let's play of mine for the PSP, brought to you by Atlas. Do you enjoy traditional turn-based JRPGs? Then come, and let's play Crimson Gem Saga! Now, for this LP, I am using the PSP version. I actually got it on the PSN, but they took it down from the PSN now, so I guess you can't get it that way. You'd have to get a hard copy or something. I heard it's also on the iPhone, but I, I don't have an iPhone. I'm an Android kind of guy. So, yeah, I don't even know if they have it on the store there either. So, let's get started here. Let's see what this Crimson Gem Saga is all about. Technically, this isn't actually a JRPG, though. It was made in Korea, I think. This is actually the second game in the Astonisha story series. But the first game wasn't very well received at all. <laughs> so they just gave this a different name outside of Korea, that is. But yeah, otherwise it's pretty much just your traditional turn-based JRPG. Nothing extraordinary or revolutionary. You know, it's just a fun little turn-based JRPG. It's got pretty good music and graphics for a handheld. So let's see what this Crimson Gem is all about. Yeah, who's that guy? Nice ears, dude. Do you even have pupils in your eyes? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Redeem yourself for what? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, take what you can get. Never tell me the odds. I'm trying to think of a Lunar reference. So I wonder whatever happened to that gem. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. But yeah, this game has a chapter system for progressing through the plot. And, well, we just got a quick little prologue going here. So let's see what's going on. Of course, like all good JRPGs, we wake up in the morning to start things off. Probably late for a date or something. Oh, well... It is, I guess. I like how the characters actually have some small facial expressions, even when they're just, you know, just a little sprite there like that. Oh. Yeah, well, that's what happens. Never drink when you're not willing to pay for it in the morning. Sorry if I'm going through things a little quickly here. What's going on, buddy? What kind of graduation? Oh. <laughs> I like how his face turns blue there. Ha ha! Well, you had an alarm clock. Oh, okay. So yeah, one thing about this game, whenever you're progressing with the plot, You'll usually get a little quest or something just to remind you, hey, here's what's going on. Here's what you need to do if you haven't played the game for the past two weeks or something. Oh, okay. Huh? Are you breaking the fourth wall? Oh, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just, it's more like a reminder, like, Final Fantasy Legend 2, where they just give you a brief description. Hey, here's what you gotta do now. This isn't like an MMO or something where you're gonna have tons and tons of pointless quests to do. I mean, there's some, but not too much, in my opinion. But alright, let's take a look around. One thing I like about this game is that if you're behind an object... Y your character have like a little silhouette or something. Well, or the opposite. You're kind of... The objects would be translucent. 
so you can see where you are. I like that. Unfortunately, this does not apply to the enemies, but oh well. So let's take a look around and dawdle before going to the or to our graduation. How do you get a job at a library? I'm surprised libraries still exist nowadays. Well, I guess you gotta have public internet access somewhere. Ha ha. Well, let's go back into the bar where evidently I live or something. Yeah, something about Crimson Gem Saga. A lot of times when you go into bars, the NPCs are really just part of the background. You can't even interact with them at all. I mean, sometimes you can, but others are just part of the background. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you mean, then? Oh, okay. They have airships in this game? Yeah, we'll just get going, then. I love the background music to this town, too. It's catchy. Yeah, how important could it possibly be? <laughs> but anyway, if you examine our dresser here, haha, -ha, little money. Awesome. Gelders are the currency of the game, just like gold or gill or any other currency in an RPG. Oh, and we got kitties. <laughs> yeah, they have a little sound effect. I like that. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I suppose. By the way, if you try to leave town over here... Oh, right, right. Yeah, you can't leave town right away. For some reason. Well, we got graduation and stuff. Let's see, if you examine the mailbox here... Haha! -ha, get biscuits! That's a consumable healing item. And I think it restores like 30 HP or something like that. So I usually use them or save them for instances like before a boss fight or whatever when I want to top off my HP or something. Oh, nuts. If you know how to open that chest, let me know. I don't think it's possible to open it. I'm unaware of any keys for it. Hmm? Oh, no, my name's Killian. Now, there's a name to die for. <laughs> I think you misheard my name. Yeah, let's just leave her alone. Fortunately, this chest is not locked. Hooray! Oh, by the way, with biscuits, you can use them both outside of battle and during battle. There are some healing items, though, that are not... Oh, wait, no, I think there's another chest or er, item that I can pick up in that house. Whoops. But yeah, there are some healing items that either can only be used, well, not only used during battle, but sometimes you can only use them outside of battle. And here we get caffeine that makes you immune to the sleep status if you use it as a consumable item during battle. I'm going to kind of skim through a lot of the NPC dialogue. I'll try to leave it on for at least a second or so. But I'm going to kind of move through them a little quickly there. Oh, right. So they have the inn and the bar in the same place. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, the fields are like overworld maps and stuff. So press the R button. Hey, we can see where everything is. Hooray! But anyway, let's see. Let's go around this house to find a secret passage. Ha ha, they hide this guy here. Well, and what do we get for our curiosity? Hey, hey all right. That'll really help out with our money problems earlier, early in the game. If you talk to him again, you get more. Can I get even more then? Oh, okay. Ha! <laughs> All right, yeah, that's a nice little startup fund there. Let's see what else we can find around here. Let's see, in this house, or this mailbox, that kind of looks like a birdhouse, I guess. Well, a little money. 
let's see, we got our regular item shop that sells like healing items and stuff like that. Sometimes they sell equipment too. I don't think they do that here though. Oh, okay. Remember the name of that town for later viewers. Not that it's extraordinarily important, but it is there. Okay, how's it going? Yeah, one thing I like about this game, you can just talk to the shopkeepers like they're normal people. Instead of just, like, vending machines or something. Oh, okay. Pay no attention to that, viewers. It's not important. Seriously, there's... He's just messing with you. But anyway, yeah. Most of these items do what you would think they do. So, let's see. Healing potions, or any kind of potion, really, can be used during and outside of battle. But, okay. We got all that stuff. Or, well, there's nothing in there, but... Let's move on, then. I like how they have a lot of little critters in the background here, too. It's nice de nice attention to detail. Oh, well, good for you. Hey, how's it going? Oh, cool. By the way, weapon shops include not just weapons, but armor and... Things like that. Other equipment. So whenever you see the little sword symbol, you can do or buy whatever equipment you want. Well, let's see what they got here. We got, well, a little bit better sword. If you wanted to buy it, you could. But in the next town we're going to go to, which is pretty quick, they have an even better weapon there. So I'm not even going to bother wasting money on it. And let's see. Leather boots. We could use those. We don't have any footwear at the moment. But, again, in the next town, we'll actually be able to find an upgrade. We don't even have to buy it. So, yeah. Early on, I'd like to try and save my money as much as possible. Because we get new towns pretty quickly early in the game. Later in the game, not so much. Oh. Well, I could have bought stuff from her. Ah, okay. But yeah, if you want to buy the sword and the shoes, you could there. It's not that big of a deal on the budget. But, eh, I think it's slightly better this way. But anyway, yeah, you examine the jacket hanging on the wall, we get some armor. So, go to the equipment menu, you push left or right to get to whatever equipment slot you want, and... Haha, -ha, we get a little better defense there. Awesome. I'll sell the old stuff later. Not right now. Oh yeah, there's one thing I wanted to show you guys about shops. It's a nice little feature they got in this game. If you're gonna buy a bunch of different things, you just press right to indicate the quantity, and then you can do that with all the stuff you wanna buy. So you could buy them all at once instead of Checking something off, buying it, going to the next thing, and so on, that can get a little tedious. So, I like how they have that there. Make shopping a little more quickly. Or a little quicker, whatever. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Well, sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I... Yeah, whatever. Academy this is. But anyway, we get a healing item there that cures the silence status, if I recall correctly. Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, I just realized that, that what name that guy has. <laughs> oh, gotta get your water somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, Killian's played this JRPG before. Hey, how's it going? Oh, sure, why not? Let's check it out. Oh, or not? Okay, never mind. But there's actually something I want to pick up here. If you go around behind the bookshelf here. Haha! -ha! Yeah, it's a little tricky there. Hmm? What's all that? Oh, okay. 
Now those are actually the single targeting fire spells of the game. And for some reason, you can talk to this guy through the bookshelf. But anyway, he's talking about uh, dual techs or combos in this game. And we'll learn more about those later on. Well, it is actually a really good ability. But yeah, like I said, I'll go over that when it becomes more relevant. I like how they handle combination attacks in this game. They're actually remotely useful instead of dealing more damage just using single targeting stuff. Not that there's very many games that handle dual text very well. But anyway, over here, haha, -ha, that's a, well, a battle item. You throw it at enemies and it deals a fixed amount of damage to them. I forget how much they deal though, because... I don't really use them. So I'll probably sell those at some point in time or another. Hmm? Who are you talking about? Oh. Huh? Yeah, sounds nice to me. Like the two kitties snuggling there. <laughs> and some of these guys will not say anything. I guess they're just part of the background. Well, calm down, dude. Yeah, I get the reference. What, hello? What do you mean by that? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, the way this game works, I mean, we don't have random encounters. Enemies appear on the exploration map, and if you can sneak up uh, behind them before you see an exclamation appears, then you can ambush them. You'll get a little damage on them before they can attack you. If the exclamation point is still there and they saw you, it's just a normal battle. And if the exclamation point disappears, like you're trying to get past them or something, they will be able to ambush you. So basically, if you get caught, run into the enemy. You don't want to get ambushed. So I guess it's kind of like Hex's Force, in a way, except you can't rotate the screen. This game is purely 2D. Okay, I think that's almost everyone. Hey, okay, how's it going? Ah, okay. Well, I hope I made it in time. How did you change your clothes so quickly? The 200th graduation ceremony of the Green Hill Chevalier Academy will now commence. Is it like a military academy or something? Yes, made it. Just gotta make sure that the principal doesn't see me sneaking in here. Well, you're kind of by yourself there, dude. Maybe you'll get extra credit for successfully sneaking in. Well, you're already graduated, pretty much. Without any further ado, I will present this year's valedictorian. It was a very close battle, but this year's top-ranked student is... Come on. Herbert von Guterian. Oh, that's a long name. Our salutatorian is Killian von Rockhoff. Congratulations to both of them. He'll get your rocks off. Cadet Herbert von Guterian, please come forward to accept your honor. Well, second in your class isn't too bad. Yes, sir. Take that, loser. Jerk. Man, I hate that guy. You can tell he's evil because he's the other guy in the game that wields the sword. Besides the main character. And the fact that he hates me for some reason. It is my distinct honor to present you, the 200th graduating class, to the world. As principal of this academy, 
I hereby officially pronounce you Green Hill Graduates and Chevalier. Hey, hey all right. Use your ambition and training to bring glory to yourselves and to Green Hill. Do I get paid periodically for doing nothing? No. Nah. No, nah, not in this game. That's another game. Second place again? I'm sick of always being second best. Well, maybe you should study harder and not get drunk at the bar. But all right. So are we just gonna hang out here, or? Oh, yeah, no one remembers second place. You're probably better off that way, so no one wants to kill you. You don't need that kind of attention there, Killian. Well, evidently not so stupid. Because I didn't graduate valedictorian? Yeah, not every line in the game is voice acted. There's quite a bit of voice acting. I think it's pretty good. I don't think anyone has like a really high-pitched voice. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Your whole life is a waste. Now you're just talking crazy. Well, you did. The difference between a doctor that got straight A's or just barely graduated is not very much once they get into the real world. Your GPA probably won't matter that much. Well, maybe you shouldn't have worked so hard then if it didn't matter that much. Oops, sorry, I went through that a little quickly. Hey, hey, all right. Must be the pride of the family, huh? Shouldn't you have, I don't know, gotten a part-time job or something? Like an internship? Oh, really? Wow, that sounds fancy. Oh, uh, well, I hope so. Well, maybe you should have planned ahead. your parents Killian well I don't think we ever hear anything about them now that I think about it because as we all know JRPG protagonists usually if they're lucky they have one parent let alone two that are still alive not very often though Oh. Well, that's fast. Hmm? Oh. Yay! Someone's paying attention to me! Oh, really? Huh. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Hmm? Oh, I was like, wait, they put that word in the script? I thought they said something else that rhymes with shifty. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, pretty much. So is he going to kick you out or something? How's what are you looking for me, sir? Ah, Killian. Just the person I wanted to see. Yes, sir. I wanted to talk to you about your future. Do you have any plans? 
Not dying? No, sir. Despite whatever rumors you've heard, I don't currently have a job lined up. Nuts. I see. I was gonna go back to my hometown. If nothing panned out, I thought I'd join a local militia. What is your hometown anyway? Local militia? Preposterous. You're a salutatorian of Green Hill Academy. Start acting like it. Well, there's nothing wrong with joining the local militia if you're someone like Vorlan. But you, you rank second out of your entire class. Be proud of that. So, where else would I go but joining the military after graduating from a military academy? Yeah, I guess. No, 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 that won't do. Sure, Herbert von Guterian managed to steal your spotlight, but you can't look at it that way. You gave it your all. Second is nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it, you loser. You're right. Thank you, sir. Have you heard of a private security group named the Excelsior Force? Can I walk there in five minutes? I've heard of them. They operate mostly in the east. In Vardenhof, right? Oh, sorry. I meant to say that here. <laughs> Not only that, they are made up of highly skilled elite soldiers. Their reputation is excellent. All right. Your upperclassman, Tissot, is their leader. He's a high-ranking graduate like yourself. Impressive. Considering your high standing, I'd be honored to write you a letter of recommendation. Hey, hey, all right. Are you serious? I really appreciate this, sir. I'll make sure not to let you down. What else would principals do? That's the spirit I expect to see out of a Green Hill Salutatorian. <laughs> Shouldn't they have had a class on, like, career development or something? Take this and head east to Vardenhof. And instead of... You know, just hanging them out to dry once they have your money? Yes, sir. I can't thank you enough. At least my college had something like that. So, yeah, that's the next objective to advance the plot. I'm going to go for a little extra length on the first episode here so I can show off uh, a few things. Hey, how's it going? You can tell he's important because he has a whole avatar for himself whenever he's talking. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Engelhide? Englehide? I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, what's up? But I just graduated. But sure, why not? Oh, okay. So yeah, Galoran horns are an item that'll drop from, well, Galorans whenever you kill them. Not always, but they are a fairly common drop, so it's not too much to do. Now, just so you know, if you don't like quests like, hey, kill X number of monsters or get 10 of these things, don't worry about it. There's not that many quests or side quests at all in general. This is just a little thing to it'll give you a little advantage. So yeah, most of the side quests have better objectives than just, hey, kill 10 of these guys for me or something. Oh. Well, that's probably going to be most of us. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I guess those are the guys that work for them, huh? Maybe you should become an Inquisitor. No one would ever suspect that. Oh, well, maybe you should go to the bar like I did to consider my future. 
Well, good luck, pal. Oh, I thought I didn't talk to you already. Well, that's where I'm heading. Maybe you should join up. More party members? Ah, oh, okay. Hooray! Well, that's kind of why you go to college. Yay! <laughs> I like the NPC dialogue in the game. Well, yeah, why else would you go to college? What's going on? Ah, well that seems rather sudden and pointless. Okay, never mind. Ooh, a hidden treasure. Well, let's check it out. Ah, nuts. You lied to me. <laughs> By the way, if you don't like the walking speed in the game, it's only going to be stuck like this for the first chapter. Well, the prologue and the first chapter. But at the beginning of chapter two, we get access to some footwear that will let you move around a lot faster. So, yeah, I'm going to be buying that as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, I guess. Foreshadowing! Oh. <laughs> they have pizza places that sell beer? I would think... At least I've never seen a pizza place that sells beer. Unless if it was, like, a bar that also sold pizza. But I would think they wouldn't be, like, a dedicated pizza place. Or something. What are all these guys talking about? Oh, okay. I don't think anyone in town says anything different after graduating. So, we're all done here. I want to show off a battle here, and then we'll... Well, yeah, then we'll move on. I'm not going to buy any better equipment. The leather armor will be more than enough. And for all the standard encounters, I'm going to just fight each one of them once as far as like leveling goes and things like that so let's take a look around now, let's see with these plants here one of them might contain an item but sometimes they don't so whenever you're going on this screen you may want to check the plants again you can only check them once per time you're on the screen here you can get a ginseng item which can restore a lot of your mp or maybe all of it i forget but anyway hey all right another potion there those restore 15 mp if i recall correctly at least during battle they do so let's see what oh what's going on oh okay yeah just like the one npc was talking about you can ambush enemies so let's keep an eye out for them Okay, there's one of them. Go! Ha ha! Yeah, a lot of times what'll happen is these guys will turn around at the last second and then you won't get the ambush. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of annoying, but... Anyway, okay, so this is a traditional turn-based combat system. And let's see, we got your regular attack there. Oh, as you saw, since I got the ambush, I already dealt quite a bit of damage to this guy. Let's see, we got items here. Just use whatever healing or damage items you got there. Escaping, I almost never do. Defending will cut damage by, I think, like 90% or something. Usually it does. Some t attacks ignore that kind of defense. But what I want to do against this guy is use a skill. And, yeah, skills in this game are very expensive. Especially for how much MP they cost. So, I want to use that against this guy. Because he's actually not the weakest type of Glorin you can encounter. You should have retreated. Hey, hey! 
Okay, all right. Got a level already. But yeah, those guys have quite a bit of HP. I probably couldn't have killed that guy with just a regular attack. And also, once you gain a level, let's take a look. Yeah, you get your HP and MP fully restored. Hooray! And let's see, we already got a Galoran, or Galoran Horn from the battle there, so that helps out. We got Milk, that is a consumable healing item, but because it's considered like a food item, you can't actually use it during battle. So you want to keep an eye on your MP to use food items like that. I kind of like how they have that. They got like emergency potions for battle and then regular items that are usually cheaper or that are always cheaper than the potions, but they can only be used outside of battle there. And let's see, you might have also noticed that in addition to experience, we got some SP out of it, skill points. And those can be used to invest in various talents or abilities. Sometimes they're just a new attack or a healing ability or a combo tech or some other passive ability like that. So yeah, we've got a whole lot of stuff to do. The first thing I want to get is cross slash so that way I can handle large groups of enemies by myself there because yeah we're not gonna get a another party member for a little while there but can we find all the galoran horns that we need for Engelhide? find out next time on let's play crimson gem saga this is hg bailey signing off have a good day